Hi everyone, I'm Larissa Russell of Creative You, and I'm your host of the Creative Soul Healing Podcast. Here's where we talk about the connection between creativity and healing by interviewing amazing creatives, spectacular healers, and inspiring people who have used creativity in their healing. What does it mean to be creative? What is creativity? You don't have to write a best-selling book or paint a masterpiece or even play in a rock band. Creativity is in everything that we do, in the ways we think, in the way we run a business, in our everyday lives, we are creative all the time. Let's talk about how we are creative and how creativity helps us heal mentally, physically, and emotionally, right now on the Creative Soul Healing Podcast. Hi everyone, I'm Larissa Russell of Creative You. Welcome to the Creative Soul Healing Podcast. Today I have with me Bodhi Simpson. Bodhi was one of our presenters for the Loving Healing Creating Summit that we ran February 2nd through 14th, and we absolutely loved having her. You can still get access to that summit at www.creativeu.ca. Bodhi is a licensed clinical professional counselor and a registered art therapist in the state of Maine. Bodhi has an art therapy practice in Waterville, Maine called Conscious Art Therapy, is the co-founder of Vast Horizon Center for Personal Growth in Brunswick, Maine, and is a co-creator of the Self-Compassion Symposium held annually in Freeport, Maine. Additionally, Bodhi provides individual and group sessions, workshops, trainings, and retreats locally, nationally, and internationally that incorporate creative expression and work with imagination, intuition, and metaphor. Welcome, Bodhi. Thank you, Larissa. So exciting to have you here today. I'm so, so excited to be here. Can you share some of your story and the path that's led you here? Sure. Um, well, when I was younger, I always naturally expressed myself in creative ways. It was very comfortable for me. And I would, um, I had a lot of stressful things in my life, like many of us did as children. And so what I ended up doing was I started to share with myself um, my true feelings, which was actually pretty scary to see. And I would feel really shameful about it. And I would like rip it up and hide it. Um, and so as I grew, I continued to do art. And there was a point in my life where I just really wanted to help other people and become a therapist. And in my search for programs, I discovered the field of art therapy, which was huge because I realized that there was actually a job out there that was just who I was. And so in my training as an art therapist, what I learned was like that there's this whole other side to art where you, you don't just, it's not just a release. It's not just to, for something pretty on the wall, but that you can actually connect to what you created and it can t talk to you and it can teach you things about yourself and you can um, use it to create new realities for yourself and to work through things. And so it was huge for me to really learn the different dimensions of creativity and how we can use this in healing. And so when I became an art therapist, I was, it's like full circle. I was able to become who I needed when I was younger. I didn't have anybody to talk to me about this. So um, that's kind of my journey here is like that. I found my way and through that, I enjoy helping others find their way through creativity. I mean, it, it says exactly what I, you just said exactly what I think about, you know, art therapy and, and healing with creativity. It, it's just so important. So, so what does healing with creativity mean to you? So, Healing with creativity for me really is about using the art process as a tool for growing your own consciousness. So holding space to be present with how you feel and what you think about, allowing the art to become a mirror for you. Mm -hmm. And that once you're aware of that, you're conscious of your patterns and what you believe, and then you can make different choices moving forward because everything's energy. So, so it's, it's like um, using the art as a way to make the energies visible and then you can shift them using the art. Yeah. So I feel like for me, that's what it is. Yeah. And do you think there's a driving force that inspires you? Absolutely. So I, in using creativity as healing, it becomes a meditative practice so that I can become clear and I work with people to learn to become clear. <clears throat> and then once I'm clear, it's almost as though the art kind of comes through me and is like paints itself or creates itself. So it's really about also 
recognizing that working with creativity is not about being the best artist. It's really about holding space to be with what comes and, mm -hmm. and honoring what comes. Yeah. yeah absolutely. And um, have you had a past pain? I mean, you touched on just briefly your childhood, but a past pain that's informed your life purpose? Well, when all that was happening, you know, I was in the victim place of like, poor me, nobody else in the world is going through this. I have the hardest life in the world. And, and now I recognize that was my greatest teaching. You know, had I not experienced that and had creativity as some kind of a light in my life, I wouldn't have learned. There's one thing about learning it through books or through school, but there's a different learning that comes through the struggle. So I feel like my childhood was the, the fertilizer for this for me. Yeah, I, yeah, I completely yeah. agree. I was having a discussion with someone just the other day about the fact that, you know, we may have gone through these horrible struggles, but it's what made us who we are today. And that is, is huge, right? Because we wouldn't be who we are without those life struggles that we've gone through. Yeah. And there is something different about being actually in appreciation mm -hmm. for something you never thought you would ever appreciate. Pretty powerful. It really is. It really is. And what is your favorite creative healing modality for yourself? Well, it always seems to change, but lately I'm really enjoying painting. I've never been formally trained in painting and I used to really be critical and, you know, and once I was able to let go of that and just enjoy the colors and sometimes I just use my fingers and just let the images come. I really, I love it because it's flowing and if you don't like it, you can sit with it and then you can paint over it. So I'm really enjoying painting. Yeah, I love that. I'm a painter too, so I totally understand that. <laughs> and what would you say is your greatest accomplishment to date? These are great questions, I have to say. My greatest accomplishment, I feel, is having found my way and having found my core and my truth and myself. Because once I was able to really feel the truth of who I was, I could really, I don't know. Everything was okay because I, I knew I was just, I don't know. It's hard to put into words, but does that make sense? Yeah, it absolutely yeah, yeah. makes sense. <laughs> and, I mean, it's one of the things that I teach, right? Because if you, if you can sort of get into who you really are, then everything just opens up for you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And if you could change one aspect of our society through your work, what would that be? It would, it would truly be just to help people really understand that we really do co-create our own realities and just help people to find their comfort and let go of people are so hard on themselves. And I find that a lot of people somewhere they believe inside that they're not worthy of healing. And um, so just helping empower people through learning the process for themselves. Yeah. Maybe through example. And what inspirational advice then would you give someone who's struggling? Well, the biggest reason I love art therapy is that it really allows us to be with the struggle. So we express our darkness and we're able to be with it. We can't hide from it once it's present. And so it's staying with what, where we're at and holding our awareness of where we're at. So life is super hard and life is also beautiful. So while you're holding the hard, you're also bringing in the light. And so staying with the hard for the struggle until it starts to shift. So I guess it would just be just to stay, stay present and stay true to where you're at and also hold space for the light to come in at the same time. Yeah. Not either or. Yeah. yeah, I really love that. And do you have an inspirational quote that sums up your life journey? Well, I was thinking about this and I've been thinking about that quote uh, by Albert Einstein, which is like, no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. And I think I have that on my website. I just love that quote because and that's how creativity can really help us is that we can see what, what's blocking us and then we can bring in a new frequency, a new perspective. I love that one. It's really true. So true. So is there anything else that you'd like to add that we maybe haven't discussed today that you'd like our listeners to know? 
I guess I would just like to, to say I'm really excited and proud of all of you for being here and um, maybe just open up to the mystery and curiosity and wonder of life and um, be playful with your process because it's a lot of really huge healing can come in a really playful and fun way. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And so I just want to thank you so much for being here today. To our listeners, we will see you again next week. And in the meantime, I wish for you amazingly creative days. Have a great week. Thank you for listening in. Please remember to like, share, subscribe wherever you are watching or listening. You can find us at www.creativeu.ca. That's www.creative and the letter U dot ca because we're in Canada reaching out to the whole world. See you next time on the Creative Soul Healing Podcast.